Hello, and welcome to the sec to the eh, I shouldn't say second. Uh, hello, and welcome to the next episode of Eve 101. This this episode is going to be about setting up your usual background and overview. Um, let's start off usually with the general basic your overview, which is this nice big box of mine. The way you set this up is. It, there is some play depending on the player and what you're going to be doing, but this is going to be sort of basic what I found works out. So the way you set it up is you click on those bars right there, right click them, and then you go down here to open overview settings. Click that. Just start off with the filter. This is going to take the longest because you're going to have to click through all of these and search and figure out which ones you want, which ones you don't. Asteroid for our purposes of PvP you're not going to be really needing to use that. So really, you can just keep that all those closed. You know, Celestial um, just sort of goes through. There's a couple things that you don't want, like planets and move, moons. Um, some things you do want. Force fields are really nice for, like, missions. You'll come across those. Um, probably the one extra thing that I actually have is biomass, which is just sort of like when you destroy somebody's pod. There's a corpse floating in space, and you can pick it up. Um, I'm going to go through these, and I'm, I'm not exactly going to explain which ones I have and which ones I don't and all that, because I don't really remember. So I'm just going to let you pause this, and then you can go through it and figure out which ones you should have. That's the going through of what you'll want to show up on your overview. Next is going to be appearance. This is nice for low sec stuff because a lot of times you'll come across outlaws or people with a below zero sec status that do happen to be part of your militia. So what you'll want to do is you want to make sure you unclick those. By unclicking those, it means that they won't they won't you know their emblem, which will be right here, will not show up with you know those skull emblems and instead it'll show up with what the next thing they are so a lot of times they'll be like militia stuff or they'll be if they're war target they're going to show up as this they're going to you're going to see this little orange star and it's going to be flashing a good example of what it's going to look like is right there i know i should be hunting her i'm doing this instead at the moment helping you guys out next column this is going to be dependent on you know all this stuff, you, extra stuff you see here. Um, the basic stuff here is going to be icon distance, name type. That's the basic stuff you're going to have in it. The extra stuff you're going to want to really put in is militia, velocity, and radial velocity. Those are the biggest things. Since velocity is going to tell them how fast they're going, radial is going to tell you how quick they're coming at you. Make sure because it gets a little confusing with radial velocity is that if they're coming at you it's going to be a negative number if they're going away from you it's positive it it gets understandable when you when you go and you understand the negative and positives of physics um don't really i don't really touch the rest of that stuff all right so that's done um next thing the selected item thing don't really touch that you know, it's just good to leave it right where it is because it works out perfectly. The next thing you'll want to do is your chat windows. Uh, as you can see here, you can see my local, how it's all set up. You see how I have the chat box as small as possible. 
and I have the name, the people's names as large as possible, because I want to see who's there. So as you see, I can see her. Uh, I'm going to make a good good thing of a good tactic when you're in, you know, wartime and whatnot. Right click, and you see this? Add contact. Add contact to watch list, and do that. It's see right there. It's going to tell you that this person is a. War I have all the war targets that I come across in Eve in this area on watch list. All you do is speed them places, which is right there. Click that, pin it down. You know, pin it down because it's really nice to have because it has all these. It means all you have to do is right click these and you can warp to them. These are all our corp locations right here. Every single one of these. Uh, but see your contacts right here. This is all the, this is everybody that I've come across in Eve in this area right here. So that's that. Um, but you come down here to these other chat windows. You see this? See how I have the names as small as possible? Because it's not important. These are, guys are friendlies. I already know that. I don't need to see who they are. And so I have the chat windows as big as possible so I can talk to them. Um, places. Uh, this is your log. This is a nice good thing to have when you're you know, doing combat s situations. Um, so all you do to get that opened up is you go to here, Eve menu, accessories, and you go right here down here to the bottom. Open that up gives you this. This will tell you like, you know, how much damage you've taken from somebody, how much damage you've done to somebody, all that nice wonderful stuff. Um, you can go into a little in-depth into settings. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, lot, um, next thing I should probably explain to you is your, um, you know, like a warning messages and stuff. So how you do this, you press escape, and what you're going to want to do is just go through here. Like, um, uh, it's going to take me a little bit here because i got to remember where stuff was. So we're just going to go through this. Ah, general settings. This is your first one that you're going to want to do. Um, right here, auto target back. Make sure that is zero targets. All right? Because there will be times that you'll have allies locking onto you to give you buffs. Like, you know, shield boosting you or giving you a higher scan res. And sometimes you'll auto lock them. You do not want to shoot them. So make sure that it is set to zero targets. Um, okay, that's pretty much the big thing. It's just that lock one. Yeah. Okay. I just had to go through all that stuff. Alright, so this that's your general information. Um, as you'll see there, there's a blank thing. It's nice on a few things. Um, our Legion channel, good to have blank on. Our this our Mercs and Allies channel, good to have blank on. This is our Cal this is a Caldari Intel channel. You'll want to have blank on that. Militia channel, don't. It it's ninety nine ninety five percent of the time it's just full of bull. That channel is you know, not important to a lot of the new players. So don't worry about that. That's my own. Um. Yep, that's pretty much your good general overview stuff. Um. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching this. This is the how to usual basic setup of overview for for your new players. Brought to you through the Mercs Legion Coalition. Uh, see you later. Bye.